Oakland can't catch a break. No, it can't. It cannot catch it a break. It cannot. So last week, In and Out was in the news, specifically the Oakland In and Out, because the first ever shutdown of a In and Out was covered across the nation. Yes, because of the because it was a profitable, busy In and Out, which mm-hmm. is crazy to close something that's profitable. Yeah, I mean, like it. It was the only one in the area, and it was there for years, but it had to be shut down because of crime. Mm-hmm. But this is not the only one that has closed down, or not the only business that's closed down recently. Mm-hmm. A new business has closed down. Oh, which one? America's favorite diner. I hop. <laughs> <laughs> Denny's. I, Denny, I like both. But okay. Yeah. So Denny's, the one that's next to the airport, the one that is actually pretty close to the in and out is shutting its doors this makes sense though over safety concerns basically repeating what the um in and out employees and staff said is that people were getting targeted outside the in and out or not the well in and out but yeah in and out and denny's Denny's, yeah basically everywhere yeah as we'll go through soon enough come to find out this is one of the most dangerous supposedly square miles in america in terms of like crime oh my god yeah i could believe it because of the the breakings and the reported um armed robberies outside of the in and out yes so vehicle thefts have risen 50 percent in oakland mm-hmm. and you're just like oh yeah you know, this makes sense you're, you're this, like, this oh, makes sense we've oh. we, we've gone through multiple different restaurants before yeah that have getting broken into like we talked about the the restaurant that had it's like a, a check for thirty dollars a bill for thirty dollars turns to 500 because your windows get smashed yeah. yeah but um the number of instances that were reported for vehicle thefts is pretty insane and we'll go over that in a second after you consider hitting that subscribe button, hit that like button. Make sure to follow us on this journey. And we look forward to having yeah. you come along with us. So it's a lot. Yeah, it's in, a lot of Reagans that are <laughs> happening in, in Oakland, which is in, wild. In 2023, 12,956 incidents were reported in Oakland. That's a lot. <laughs> that's a that's, lot that's of break-ins. So much, actually. That's so many broken windows. Yeah. So it's not like oh, you know, they go in in the at night or you know, it's just midday. Yeah. They just go it's, it's smash and grab in the day, which is wild. That that that's even happening. I wonder, like, why? I, like, if you guys know that these break-ins are happening in like these at the Denny's at the In and Out, mm-hmm. why is there not like more of a fr- presence there? For like, I don't, I don't know how they're running their city. That's the one thing that <laughs> I have to say. I, I'm just like, I'm That's being true. honest. Yeah. Um. So the police are also very frustrated about this as well. Oh yeah, I can imagine. Yeah. Yeah, because like they're catching all the flack for like, why aren't you doing anything? And then on their end, they can't really do much because, um, it's become a meme at this point. Because, um, if it's below, I believe nine hundred dollars, it doesn't matter. Oh yeah, yeah. It's effectively like they consider that like oh, they just write that off. It's yeah. not a, considered a big enough crime. It's it's a uh, it's just a write off. Yeah, yeah. But back to um, Denny's. I didn't realize this, but that Denny's was there for fifty four years, so it's been there forever. That in and, and out, now, that in and out was there for like I think a decade or more. A decade. <laughs> yeah, which but fifty five years is such a long time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And yeah, they these were a mile apart, so they they are really close to the airport. Um, but the issue is that it's the location, 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 location. These places are all within like driving distance of the Oakland airport. Mm, that makes sense. Which means lots of tourists, tourists, or people travel like this travelers, and. This means that it's ripe for crime. Yeah. I believe it's a, a lot of the rental cars. Like, at, most of the places have, like, specific rental cars. And you can tell a rental car when you see it. You're like, oh, I know that's a rental. Yeah, usually it has a little sticker, too, that says, mm. like, Hertz or something like that. Or, uh, or plates, I think. 
Or, a lot of times it's know. like different out of state plates. You oh, can tell yeah. like, if it's like Arizona or over here in California, it'd be like Nevada or something like, like that. Yeah, yeah. A lot of times it'll be like those. But the issue is that these make them a large target because think about it this way. You're about to leave. You're like, oh, I'm about to leave California. I want to go grab something to eat. Mm-hmm. Let me let's stop by the in and out before I head back. I'm pretty, uh, it makes me wonder. I think they probably had signs out there that says like, take your valuables with you. But at the same time, people think because, um, because it's like in the daytime, you yeah. know, like, oh, there's a lot of people here. It's like, no, 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 it no. still is going to happen. Yeah. It's going to happen so quickly that you won't even realize you, as soon as you walk through the door and your look car's back, already broken into. Yeah. They, a lot of times they're this kind of spot you and then they'll know like oh these these guys are tourists and they probably left all their stuff in the back yeah so one of the other things that i was thinking of is that the crime in this area wild but there's a lot more places that could be hit so there is a gas station in the area and it has been going viral this gas station for the number of uh car, car burglaries that happen really car break-ins that happen at that station because um because it's located the thing is a shell and or actually just any of this the gas stations you can see right here there's there's quite a few right next to the road or 880 which runs by the airport and by the in and out the in and out's right next to the road too the the denny's is like right down the road mm-hmm. up here but um all of these ones getting hit nonstop. And that's because all the people are coming in here and like, oh, I need to go fill up gas. That's what I was about to say. I was like, these people are probably returning the cars and they're getting break- broken yes. into. Yeah. Which is really sad because like, you, there's no way. Like, But I think I would rather pay the, the extra yeah, money. Yeah, I would rather pay the extra money too. For the super, like $10 a gallon gas or whatever, like when you fill up at... Um, yeah, yeah, I would rather do that instead. Mm-hmm. Uh, because it's not worth it. It's definitely not worth it to fill up at these stations so close to these areas that are getting hit. So, um, because you're right next to your car too when you're yes. filling up. Because uh, if for people that are probably out of state or in other states, mm-hmm. you fill up your own gas here in California. Um, you're right next to your car, so it has to be it. This like burglary is happening right next to you, or yeah. even if you go inside. Mm-hmm. Um, but the other problem that you probably have to face is probably people stealing your credit card information or skimmers. Oh, too. skimmers. Yeah. Yeah. There's a little bunch of problems that could happen. So I wouldn't trust anything within Oakland. I would just say probably oh. fill outside and, and fill somewhere else and then come in there. The other thing that, um, well, in that case, I might suggest like going a little bit further down mm-hmm. to Costco. Costco might be a bit, yeah but it would but be it also safer. about this about the same oh it's the same well because like i mean you're still yeah. very close to the road yeah, and stuff still, but there's a lot of people though so it's i mean that's like safe, any area. safety in numbers i guess yeah that's my my opinion on i that. feel like locals will go to the costco so maybe the, any of this don't hit that area as much versus just the um the area where there's all the other um potentially easier targets yeah so a story that we covered earlier pirates oh the pirates the pirates are also <laughs> we're also oh my near, god actually are actually near the I airport can't as well talking about the pirates again but yes they're the, right next to it there's there's a marina right right near the airport okay for those of you who don't know actually it was you you covered this essentially yeah. like people are stealing these homes these uh what is it? The houseboats. What, houseboats mm-hmm. in Oakland, which is wild already. Or just robbing the boats. Or just robbing the boats. There, so there is nowhere safe in Oakland, essentially, because you're in the water or on land. They're stealing from you. <laughs> they're Somehow. stealing your car. You're, they're stealing your valuables. They're stealing your houseboat. Yeah. The wild thing is that, like, there's. I feel like the the how the hotels there are also probably very susceptible to break-ins as well yeah because they ha- they could hire a security but the security is all what they're going to do is just call the police yeah or um the other last thing that we want to mention is that a lot of times now and in, in places that are very dangerous specifically like um oakland has been doing this where they've been hiring um off-duty police officers to go and 
protect their businesses. Their businesses. Yeah. We talked about this because PG and E was hiring cops, mm-hmm. off duty police officers to um, guard them from being robbed be- for like a lot of money. For uh, yes, for an exorbitant amount of money. Because the thing is that these uh, PG and E workers were getting robbed um, at gunpoint for their equipment, which yeah. is dangerous, super dangerous. So that is. It is yeah. such a sad sight to see because well, cause like all the all the resident dental customers feel, are pissed are you, upset you because safe. Yeah. well no the residents like they're not gonna get good service for like no. oh my power still out because the guy who's supposed to be fixing it is not even <laughs> gonna come out here because there's because there's it's dangerous yeah. or even like the guy who did show up he got robbed and now he doesn't have the tools to fix it and so yeah. he can't even fix it it's it's insane thinking about it it's like I don't want to, as much as like. I, like I like Oakland. I've been there a couple of times before. Yeah, they have not, really good food. Yeah, they have really good food. They used to have some, some conventions there too. Mm-hmm. But like even the even the people working in Oakland had to be escorted into the the bar station, the transportation, the mm. subway system, um, because it's too dangerous just to be out in the road. Yeah, but I mean, it, it's going to be interesting going forward because a lot of the um, like SF, Oakland, and other cities in the air, like vicinity, are all getting very bad raps because of these, um, you know, these robberies and stuff like that. And I think even the governor was trying to like somehow curb this, but I I don't know how you could do that within the framework of the law. So until you like reduce the level of like, um, like getting arrested i guess you know the thing is that you know it's it's you you hear these stories right Mm -hmm. you hear these stories usually it's on like it's on the news it's on yeah it's on uh it's on the news where it's like on national news because they happen so much yeah it's on national news but the thing is there's still people who don't believe that this is happening and saying it's like oh you know it's like certain areas that's happening no Mm -hmm. i will say that i have seen this literally like in person where all these crimes do happen like probably not like we don't see the frequency but we yeah. do see that th- they happen mm. um and i just want to make that, sh- that clear it's like because there is people who don't believe I it i feel like the people who don't believe it are desensitized to it they don't see it yeah like they they have lived there so long that they choose not to see it and then they don't see it like uh, yeah. i think like oh if you see something happen like if you live in or if you live or work in sf and then you're like oh it's just another naked person riding around or that's running around. That's not normal, yeah. That's well, not that's not normal, normal to like ninety percent of the United States. But if you live in that's or sad, work, yeah. live and work there, it's like oh, you know, then normal. Yeah, you know, it's so crazy to think about. I, this is the very last last piece. I know, I know, we've this is the very last piece. It's okay. Like, um, there was like I've been probably a few miles away from where there's been like armed like shootings and armed like robberies I mean, uh, like in tenderloin. san francisco yeah no this is not even in tenderloin. Not in the tenderloin no this is like in actual like this is in san francisco like a few miles away from the the pier the, the where all the, the oh, is it yeah, the yeah. one where it was the um the marina uh the no th- th- this was by uh the ferry building by the way oh, okay, this was okay. a few years ago but i'm still i thought it was the one where it's like the pier where they they had a drive-by where like they oh that also did happen that yeah. also did happen but this was that they found a they found a firearm after they so- someone shot uh shot a gun okay and then they found it in the in the garbage oh uh, uh, yeah but i mean like this these things do happen and like we're like regular people and we see these things happen so like just from first-hand the, experience but the locals are like yeah yeah the locals are like eh, it i mean it happens it, it happens. does happen it's, it's not good but i mean it, ha- it happens and what they say is like things need to change and but the thing is like yeah, things do need to change and someone needs to change them but yeah i don't know i would want to hear from our audience about this in the mm-hmm. comments down below yeah do you think that people are choosing not to see this or like do you think it's really exaggerated i think it i think people are just not choosing not to see it or like mm-hmm. Or like turning a blind eye because like I, it's hard to not if you like. I don't know if you just look, it, it it's there. Yeah, it happens true. all the time. Yeah, but leave your comments down below. Mm-hmm.